Hey guys, today I'm gonna to be reviewing a brand new product. This is the new NYX Bear With Me Concealer, and this has gone viral literally everywhere. I've seen it all over TikTok. What really caught my eye is that it's the Bear With Me Concealer plus serum. So I'm really excited to try it out. I've heard amazing things, but of course I had to try it for myself. And if you guys know, I love testing out new foundations and concealers. Skin complexion is just my phase. So I'm hoping that this matches. So if it doesn't match, we're just gonna bypass the shade and just focus on formula, how it blends and coverage and all of that. So hopefully the shade is great. I did pick mine up in the shade beige and these do retail for $11. It's also available in 13 ultra hydrating shades. It's supposed to have a medium coverage, pretty much cover up redness, cover up acne, blemishes. It's supposed to cover up dark circles. It's infused with skin loving ingredients and it's supposed to really be hydrating and nourishing on the skin. So that's what it is claiming. We're gonna get right on into it, put it to the test. I do have two tools that I'm gonna be trying it with. I have my sponge from e.l.f., which is amazing for concealer. And then I also have a little concealer brush as well. I'm gonna take it on this brush and apply it right here. That's a lot of coverage right away. I do like to keep more of the pressure and product right here. And I'm just gonna keep on blending. Wow, actually the shade is pretty good. It is more on the brightening shade. And I do like to kind of steer away from brightening concealers, but I don't think it's terrible. Very much like a skin-like finish. I will add a little bit more to this area, but I like how much I added with the brush and how it blended out. That honestly like diffused into the skin so seamless. I just zoomed you in a tiny, tiny bit, but that is awesome coverage for just being a tiny dab. I'm gonna go back in with just a little bit more and focus it right here. And when I applied my foundation earlier, I only kept it into like this area and on my forehead. As you can see, I left all of this bare. So we can really get a true test on how this concealer does work and like play with the foundation, but also how it works on bare skin on the under eyes. I could probably go back and get another shade and maybe mix the two. But I mean, for right now, I think it's doing just fine. Conceals, but it also looks so skin-like and so hydrating. So nine times out of 10, I apply my concealer with a sponge and I like to go in with the brush like this to set with powder, but I did wanna see how it would play with a brush. To spot conceal, I would definitely say that I would be maybe one or two shades up just to match my foundation shade a little bit better. So I would not be applying it to the blemishes that I have, but I think it looks really gorgeous underneath the eyes. I'm gonna take a little bit on that sponge and apply it right into the inner corner to see if it is more of a buildable consistency and formula and how it does kind of play with a sponge. And do we see this eyelash right now? I can't. <laughs> oh, That's really pretty. Definitely more of a lighter tone than I normally would go for for a concealer. Like I said, we're gonna bypass the shade if it does appear a little bit lighter, but I really think that it masks a lot. Gives such a beautiful coverage, does not look drying. It feels like I applied like an oil or like an eye cream under my eyes. Like it just feels so hydrated. Now I'm gonna go in on this side with the sponge only and apply it that way. A little up there. I'll actually add a little bit more up here as well. Apply a little bit to my forehead. You can really just see it like melting into the skin. I love that. Okay, so just blending that out now because I feel like that wasn't enough over here. Just by blending this in a little bit, like. I already feel like I'm gonna be using this a lot. Like I just love the way that it feels and looks on the skin already. And I also feel like I'm gonna be going back to get another shade because I would love to mix the two. I can't get over how hydrating it actually feels. Wow. And like, look at that glow. I just love radiant glowing skin. So even for the under eyes, I really do like that as well. If you're using it one, two, three, going out the door, you know, don't wanna have a full face of makeup, just want it to be really natural. I don't feel like you have to set it down, but of course this formula is not gonna dry down like matte or anything. So I would say to apply just a touch of powder that just looks like it snatched it up and it does look so nice. I'm just gonna go in with my foundation and just take a little bit on the sponge and blend in this area just so it all meshes together. That just looks so healthy to me. There's actually no creasing at all, which is kind of shocking to me. So jumping into powder, I'm gonna take a little bit of the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. This one is in the shade Fair Light. I'm actually gonna use that same brush that I used earlier, tap off the excess and apply it right here. I'm just gonna be using a little bit today and really just pressing it into the skin. 
Okay, so I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup now off camera, but right now I am loving it. Like that looks so seamless, A plus so far. So I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back now with a little bit more makeup on. So if you love skin loving ingredients in your products, then you would probably love this. And if you have a little bit more of dryness, you would love this because it's definitely hydrating while doing the job. While it's concealing, it's still giving you that nice hydration. And if you have a little bit more of oily skin, you may still like it. It is a little bit more on the hydrating side, like I said, but if you set it down, you may have no issues with it. Such a smooth finish and it's not cakey. It's none of that. Like it just looks overall so smooth, so flawless and pretty and looks airbrushed while it's not like a matte airbrushed feel. It's still very hydrating. So what I say you need this concealer, I would say definitely try it. If you can get your hands on it, try it out. I'm gonna just tap right here. Nothing really comes up. If anything, a tiny, tiny bit is on my finger, but it's not like a crazy amount or anything. But it's drugstore, it's 11 bucks, and it has serum in here as well. So definitely scream my name, had to review it for you guys. And I'm so, so glad that I did because I really do love it. So make sure to check the description for a little update if I wanted to add what went on throughout the day or anything, if I'm not able to make it back on camera, I love to let you guys know that as well. So make sure to check in the description. I have a feeling it's gonna be my new like everyday concealer. I feel like in person it looks so much like better, if that makes sense. Like it just looks like so airbrush yet still radiant. I'll of course have it linked and listed for you down below in the description. That is all for this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I will see you guys in my next video.